Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can connect an access secret from Azure Key Vault using Azure Web App. Generally, we store connection string secrets and certificate with Azure Key Vault and access into our application. In this demo, we will store a Cosmos DB connection string inside Key Vault and then we can see that how we can integrate Azure Key Vault with Azure Web App. Let's start. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal inside the source group called Web App and Config Demo. So in previous video, we created app configuration and access that one via Web App. And now in this one, we have a Key Vault and we will see how we can integrate with our Web App. So this was the web app where we integrated with the connection string, the app configuration. And this is the app configuration we added and we access that uh, section and other details. So let's go ahead inside our key vault and I'm going to add one secret. Okay. And for this one, I'm going to put this connection string inside secret value so i want to retrieve this one so that i can connect this cosmos so now let's go ahead and see that and how we can integrate azure key vault with our web app and the web app we created sp.net core web app we created and we can refer the earlier video for that now i'm going to add some packages from nuget I'm going to add sp.net core secrets. And because I wanted to show that how it can be accessed by a managed identity. So I will go ahead and add one more Azure dot identity. Now I can go to our program.cs. I can go ahead and similar to we did app configuration injection, we can do with Azure add key vault. And this is the function which is going to use for generating default Azure credentials. And in Visual Studio, it is going to generate for whatever login I have used. And when we will deploy inside Azure Web App, it is going to use managed identity and credential. So let's see that. Now this keyword name we have to provide. So our keyword name is Surface Demo and this is the URL. So I can go ahead and take that URL and I can change here. Now inside index.cstml where we were trying to access our data or anywhere else, let's see that if we can say like, for testing purpose, I'm going to put the debug point and other thing and see that it is able to connect or not. And I'm going to access our secret from configuration. This configuration is injected here and we are saving into local variable. And then we are going to access this. Then we can say that I'm going to add one message. I'm just going to check that one that it has some value because once we deploy it to Azure, uh, we won't be able to put the debug point. So that's where I am putting this message. I do not want to print Cosmos DB anywhere. So that is another reason. And inside HTML, I can similar to go ahead and print that message variable, which we have inside model. Now I'm going to put the debug point. Let's see. Okay, I have to make public. So let me put the public one. Let me go ahead and start this web app. Now it is saying that one successfully got the connection string. So let's see why did not hit the connection debug point 
let me clean and rebuild this app and then I will put this one inside debug mode now let me start so if we go inside configuration build.configuration let's see so right now there are six providers so if we see six providers are there let's move ahead next now we can see that how many providers are there because we just added app configuration so now we can see that seven provider is there and six provider it had been added last provider uh, it is added as azure app configuration now we are adding one more so let's see that so let's go ahead and let's and now if we have eighth provider seventh is azure key vault configuration provider and now if we go inside our index dot cstml.cs we have debug point now we are going inside here and we are able to see that we have this value is coming cosmos connection string and that's how this message is being printed that successfully got the connection string from kb now we can have different thing that okay whatever way we are doing inside program.config this value can come from configuration itself so that optimization we need to do but basically it is using my credential we are not passing any credential and if we go inside our key vault let's see that access policy it is added to me now i'm going to deploy this one to this uh, web app and let's see that what happens for deploying i'm going to publish and we have already published profile created inside previous video so we do not have to do that one one more time i am going to publish this until that time it is happening let's see that what was the original one first so that we know that okay this is only saying that one data from azure app configuration let's see that after publishing what happens so right now it is building another thing so it is using configuration as a release, not in debug mode. So now it is published. And now let's see what happens. It might throw an exception. Yeah, expected. Why? Because if we drill down in this message, this web app does not have access on our key vault because it is using managed identity. Now let's go ahead and see that if we have enabled managed identity or not. So this have already managed identity, but this managed identity does not have access to key vault. So I'm going to add this access to key vault. Let me go ahead and add this inside access policy. And adding access policy is old way. Our new way is always we should use RBAC. So I'm going to find this. MI and then I'm going to add this and I am right now adding this all things we should not add that one let me remove this all for the safer side and I will go only for secret management and not all only get and list because this application is going get and list only so I'm going to do that and now we can see that in access policy applications are there so i'm going to stop this application and restart one more time it says the service is down let's refresh this one in one minute it should come now we can see that this it also says that successfully got the connection string from kb so that is how we can integrate a key vault also with web app and then whatever secret we are going to keep there is another way also without doing that one via app configuration key vault reference that we can see another time thank you mm -hmm.